हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार दिस इज द थर्ड एंड द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द कैलेंडर कंट्रोल इन वीबीए सो वी हैव डेवलप्ड एंड डिजाइन दिस कैलेंडर इन एक्सेल वीबीए आई विल शो यू इफ वी विल चेंज एनी मंथ इट विल बी चेंज वी कैन यूज प्रीवियस मंथ एंड नेक्स्ट मंथ बटन आल्सो एंड द डेट्स विल बी चेंज्ड वी हैव डिसेबल ब्लैंक बटंस आल्सो एंड यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन एनी ऑफ द बटन now in this part of video you will learn how to put the event on the calendar so that if you will click on the button that particular date should be selected or you can select any start date and date and that date should be filled in the text box or any label or any command button and if date is already available in that text box when you will click on the calendar that should be highlighted on the calendar so you will learn in this part of this video so please watch this part till the end and if you have not watched the first two part of this video request you please watch that so that it will be easy to understand so now we are going to start so i'll go to the visual basic editor and we are working on this calendar so now we will put a function so that whatever we have selected here that should be placed on your control like on a excel cell or any text box label command button i'll put here a text box so i'll go to the tool control then i will put a text box here so this is the text box i'm just putting this here for the time being we will use this just for help and then we will make it hidden all right so whenever we will click on any button that particular date should come in this text box and how it will come in this text box this is the text box one you can see now i'll put the code on command button one first so just double click here and here i will put if me dot command button one dot caption is not blank then and if me dot text box one dot value and it should be me dot command button one dot caption and then i'll put here a hyphen then we will put the month name so we have a complete month name like january so it will be j a n u a r y but we want to display first three letter like j a n only so i will use here bba dot left then me dot cmb month cmb month is the combo box of the month all right from here i will take the value and i will take only first three letter of the month and then we can put another hyphen and me dot cmb year this is the combo box of year all right we have not put here ampersand okay now same code we will put on the other buttons also so what i will do here i will create a sub procedure sub button click all right then i will take input btn as ms forms dot command button and then we can copy this code here simple in place of me dot command button we can use simply button and simply this can here also all right so why we are creating this function if later on we need to put some code here then we just need to put the code on only one function not every button here how we will call this function we will simply use call this function and here we will put here me dot command button one because we are going to call this function for command button one now we can make a copy of this and we will paste this here so let me put some space here i will paste this code here and i will change this command button to click and similarly here command button two and paste this code again this time i will take three and three i'll do this activity on all 42 buttons now if i will run this then if i will click you can see this tax box is available if i will click any of the button that particular date will come on this tax box all right so now i'll create a function function that will be selected date and i will take input as the control you can put your control name for example tax box label command button excel cell wherein you want to get the date from this calendar so i'll use let's say target control as object 
and it will give the output as a string and then what we will do here i'll take them str as a string i have taken a variable str as a string why i have taken this variable i'll tell you so first of all i'll check the type of this control you can pass here excel range text box label command button okay so we need to check that because on excel range and text box we will use dot value but when you want to get the date from command button or label then we have to use dot caption right so i'll use here if vva dot type name of target control is equal to range or copy this or if it is text box then the str will be target control dot value and we will use another condition that will be else if if type name is let's say command button or it is a label then str will be target control dot caption and if all right so whatever we have got from that control first of all we will check if bba dot is date the str is a date or not we will check that equal to true then if it is a date then what should happen me dot text box one dot value we will put this str there but before putting it there we will convert this in our format so we will use vba dot format and because str is a text not a date it's a string so first of all we will convert it into date so bba dot c date we will use str then here we will put format d m m m y y y y else me dot text box one dot value equal to blank okay so why we are using this i'll tell you if i will call this let me go to the book one here i will insert this button here let's say just double click i will call this function here which is calendar dot selected date here i will pass excel cell let's say active cell we will use here calendar dot show we will display the form here show okay now i'll show you what will happen if i will select this cell and just click here you can see the date is available in this cell will display in this tax box all right and now i will copy this code and i will paste this here and this time i'll assign the value of target control so here i'll take the value as me dot tax box one dot value because the text box one value is also getting changed when somebody will click on any of the button all right so same i will do here dot caption equal to i will paste this and we can remove this one if the target control type is not defined or uh, the target control type is not range text box command button or label then what we can do here we can put our else condition and for the selected date we can assign this value which is target one dot value all right now i'll show you what will happen let's say i have selected this date and i will click here then this date will be changed and if i will close the form that date will be changed here also let's say i have selected 30th april if i will close this form the 30th april will be available here but this form should be closed automatically so how we can do that i'll go to the button click sub procedure and here i will put unload me all right now if i will select just put any date you can select any cell and whatever date you will select that will be available there all right friends now if the date is available here automatically that date should be highlighted in the user form or the calendar so how we can do that first of all i'll go to the calendar here and i will make a copy of an image let's say this one and just paste this here right click go to the property and i will change the picture picture and i'll take this star all right so i will put a star icon there whatever date is available i'll put this star sign there and i will rename this let's say img star all right so now just go to the code and here what i will do i'll create another sub procedure sub let's say 
highlight date and here I will take DT as date as input and just close this bracket and now what I will do I as integer and so basically I can copy this code all right just to save the time and just paste this here and we can remove this now what I will do whatever date will be passed here if I'll take the day from this date so I'll use VBA dot day is equal to btn dot caption then and so first of all we will identify particular button has the same day whatever day will be passed all right but this will be a integer and this will be a string to compare these we have to change the format so we can either convert it into the string so we can use vba.cstr convert to string and then we can use this one all right if the caption is the same then i'll put me.img star dot left will be btn dot left then me.img star dot top will be btn dot top and we will change the background color of button also btn dot back color will be vv white all right and if that particular image which is me.img star is not visible then we can make it visible true and now we can call this here once we will identify this is the date then we can call this here highlight date and we can pass the date here as convert to date and this str all right so let me click here now you can see there is a small star sign is there for 10th of april if i will select this cell and just click on this button then 18 is highlighted if i will click on this button then i will click so this 30th will be highlighted so friends that is how you can create this now we don't want to show this text box so you can put this make this a smaller like this right click go to the properties you can make this invisible so you can use visible false now one thing will happen if there is no data available then still this star will be displayed so what i will do here while this form will initialize here we can put a small code or we can do it properties also just select this picture right click go to the properties make this visible false all right now just select and click so it will not be visible but if date is available there then it will be visible now i'll tell you how can you call this on a vba user form okay so let's say if you have a user form simply this user form and then you can put your command button and your text box so you want to get the date here in this text box there will be two ways to do it so one you can simply call calendar dot selected date this is the function name and we can pass our control so control will be me dot text box one all right so now run this and we will simply click here and whatever date you will select that will be displayed there all right so friends that is how you can use this if you don't want to highlight that date then you can simply call it put me dot text box one dot value equal to calendar dot selected date that's it so run this so here what we have done we have not make this optional so let me make it optional otherwise it will be mandatory to pass this target types all right so now if i will click here it will give me the date but it will not highlight back that particular date all right friends so you can call it in the both way whatever you want you can use this way or you can use this way Alright friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.